How can we anticipate the impacts that will still be felt on Latin Americans' consumption? There are two important thermometers that we can monitor to understand better the region dynamics and get ready for what's next. The first one is the consumption of foods, as it is the most essential basket. The foods basket represents more than one-third of Latin American spending. Another factor is that inflation impacts on essential categories at global and regional levels more than on other categories. Also, opportunities to streamline expenses on foods are more limited, depending on the socio-economic levels. That is exactly the other thermometer of the future. The way lower classes shop is key to growth in Latin America, because they represent the largest group of households. On top of that, it is the group that has contributed the most to the FMCG results in recent quarters. Let's take a look at what happens when we combine both. Food has grown the most in value, except for the low class, because it is more difficult to streamline expenses. In all social classes, food is very representative in the household budget, and the lower the class, the heavier it is. Lower income, alongside unemployment and price pressures, have all made it more difficult, while over the past 12 months, high socioeconomic levels have raised their spending by 28% to keep buying the same things, low-income households have been able to spend only 17% more. And let's not forget the 19% average inflation in Latin America in Q3 2021. Price increases impact on how, what, and where consumers shop. This can be seen clearly in the relationship between frequency and volume per trip. Higher classes have managed to increase their cart while not decreasing the number of times they shop. At the other end, lower classes have also increased their cart, but to a lesser extent, as well as decreasing frequency. This means people have sustained spending on the basket, but economic pressures can lead to changes in how they consume and even to down trading. Even though the impacts of deflating value change by socioeconomic level may take longer to get to the foods basket, countries such as Argentina and Colombia are already living this context. This may be the time for manufacturers to adapt their portfolios and improve the perceived affordability of their products. To understand future consumption trends in Latin America and the opportunities to grow, talk to us today.